so beautiful and I tell her every day Welcome back to my channel, I am Sami, what going on, what are you saying? So today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial, obviously you can see I have the orange background My orange background is dedicated to my makeup videos My shirt is looking white Talk about a girl like in Scroop Scroops If you don't know what Scroop Scroops mean, you know You've lived a privileged privilege life So if you can't Scroop Scroops you lived a privileged life but that's neither here nor there so today we are doing a few um features on the channel so the first feature was paradise claws the cuticle oil made from coconut oil and infused with different scents this is green apple and i will be linking it in the in the um description box this is by my friend lashana she has a company called paradise claws on instagram and i'll link all of that information down below the second feature is good mela good mela is my friend and she has like amazing amazing products um lip glosses setting powders this, i have her blush and her blending sponge along with a sample of her highlighter and guys i've had this for over a year still present look at the highlight under my eyebrows tell me tell me sissy you know what she doing and it blends out perfectly perfectly because i also have it on my cheek and as you can see it's not as pronounced as under my eye because i blend this out to give it a more glow from within type of look and then her sponge guys this is the best sponge ever when i purchased this sponge because i had decided that i do i no longer apply my setting powder with a sponge anymore because i just didn't like it it came out very harsh but this i can blend out my foundation and set my no i can blend out my concealer and set my concealer with this sponge contour with this sponge everything and this is her blush guys this has become my favorite blush like if you've been following me for a while you know that my favorite blush palette is the elf dark medium to dark blush palette and i always use like the marvy pinkish tone now this has been my favorite blush palette since i've gotten it this palette blush <laughs> since i've gotten it this is all i have been using this alone like always this is my go-to blush now amazing soft easy to blend pigmented good for darker skin amazing and then of course i bought the zoeva foundation and it's amazing i like it naturally i would go darker than this because i feel like it matches me to a t now i know this is what most people want but i go darker in my foundation all of my foundations are red this foundation has a warm golden undertone if i can describe that that but i prefer my foundations red i go very dark on my foundations well not very dark like but i definitely go like a shade or two up on my foundations i don't know why i just like that i just like the way it makes me look it makes me look deep and chocolatey and <sighs> ah! so i prefer that and then also where is this primer Ooh. also the milk primer i got a sample in it just to test it out but i think i'm gonna get the full one because i like how this wears i like how it makes my skin feel when i put it on i like how it makes the foundation seem like it sticks like definitely hydro grip primer this is true and then the video is going to be a talk over so everything is going to be speeding up and everything also if you see me singing <laughs> or talking that's because i'm singing there's music in the background playing so guys i thank you guys for watching and i will see you in my next video Bye. So in today's video, we are going to be featuring some new products that I bought and um, products from friends. So this bonnet is made by my friend. Um, you can find her on the Etsy store. I will link, I will put her Etsy store link in the description box. It's just 10 pounds. Shipping is fast. It's reliable and it's lined with satin so you can see that it's really good for your hair so ladies my black chicas my black girls my melanin girls with kinky coily curly hair 
this is the bonnet for you it comes in small medium and large right now I have a large so it holds and it holds my braids do you know how it is to find a bonnet that holds your braids this holds my braids my cuffs my big hair generally it holds it so it's good is I got a new new eyeshadow palette dun, dun, dun. I got the Morphe James Charles palette guys I'm so happy. <laughs> I got this for my birthday for my friends. And today's makeup look is gonna be inspired by these palettes. So yes, I'm gonna use the foundation and all of that jazz and I'll give you a description at oh um a mini review of it at the end of the video. But after this, this video is going to be a voiceover. So let's get into it. So guys, we start out the video by putting on the Morphe Translucent Eyeshadow Primer. And this is a primer I've recently, well not recently, but I've gotten recently. And I really just love how it works with all the eyeshadows that I have. It, get, it becomes very tacky and it definitely keeps your eyeshadow in place. Um, after this, I'm gonna use the Milk, the NYX Milk Pencil. And really, I'm only using that because I'm going for this sunset look and I need all the colors to really pop, especially like the yellows and the oranges. And um, you're going to just see me blend this out. I hope you guys are having a good day, whatever time of day that you're watching it, watching this video. I hope you are having a very productive and blessed day. But yes, I take a small flat brush, a very dense one, and I blend it out. Now, it's very hard to blend it out. And the reason it's hard to blend it out is because the eyeshadow primer is already on there. So it's very tacky, so it's hard to move. Now I am taking the color B in the James Charles palette. And I'm putting it just below my eyebrows. This is just to get my the colors walked into my eyes so i walk my way up but because i know it's a, a bright sunset color i'm trying to get it to look as if it's diffusing up by starting at the top and there's this new technique that i found i prefer now to start at the crease and then do my transition color and then come down so i start in the middle because the crease color is usually the darkest color and then I blend out from that. So in the crease, I am using Escape. And that's that deep purple in the palette on the bottom of the rose. At the bottom, in the last row, sorry. And really, I'm using a more precise blending brush to get that done. And <laughs> guys, I'm actually jamming out to something. I don't even know what I'm listening to. And now I'm going into Skip and Love That. And those colors are the colors that gave me the pink that I was looking for because skip is really pinky and love that is like a pinky purple but I wanted like a good happy medium so this is what these are the colors that I use to diffuse out the harsh lines of that purple and also give me that gradient look Yes, I'm loving this palette. I'm not even gonna lie, guys. It's very pigmented. I like the color payoff. All the colors I've tried so far have worked well on my skin. Right now, under my brow bone, I'm getting. I'm using a highlighter, Rock On Wall by Makeup Revolution. And now I'm going to be using my friend's highlighter in Criminal. And I'm literally gonna just dab that on with a. I actually don't know what kind of brushes that is but a flat top brush i'm assuming and i'm gonna literally just dab that on there and as you guys can see reflective if this is the look that you're going for a reflective highlighter you need to just check out her website and everything is listed in the description box do not sleep on good mela good mela everything is like the makeup brand is amazing the things that i have i would buy again and again and again 
now i'm just going to diffuse it out with the brush that i used to first apply the rock on wall highlighter now we're going to go and cut my crease and i'm using the revolution concealer in c13 and you know just cut your crease everyone has a different way of cutting their crease I go quite above, well, not quite, but I do go quite above my um, the crease on my lid just so that, you know, it can all be seen, but I don't go too far up that I cut out the purple. And now I set it with my Sasha Buttercup setting powder, but I also go back in with the milk and I just dab, 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 but it looks like I'm going really quickly, but you have to take your time actually because there's no way to get the milk to cut out unless you warm it up and then do it yourself but no one has time for that really so i just dab 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 but you're gonna see at this point it feels as if your eye is pulling and i'm telling you that is because that morphe eyelid primer the tackiness guys your eyeshadow will not move at all now we're gonna go back into b and we're gonna start placing that yellow eyeshadow down and guys look at that yellow like yellow yellow eyeshadow and really we're just going to be tapping 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 until we build up the brightness that we desire and we're going to do the same for the other lid Then we're gonna go into and use the orange so now they don't have an orange orange that i liked so i mixed it with rusted and 518 sorry you're hearing all that rustling because i'm trying to read what the colors are so rustic and 518 i used more rustic than 518 but it's essentially a mix of both colors on my lids this is the closest orange that I, this is the kind of orange that I actually wanted. So I had to mix them, those two. And guys, you know what? Let me just start to talk about the red now because listen, the red, are you kidding? Or oh, no, not are you kidding? <laughs> it's called you're kidding. And let me tell you something. That is like the definition of a true red it is so red i was proper like oh i was taken aback for a while because i was just like this is a really really nice red but yeah um but you know the drift you just keep tapping 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 i do eventually go in and clean up if i need to um i've cut that out of the <laughs> i've got that out of the video but i do go in and clean up and ensure that everything is straight then we're gonna go in and line my lids with the elf black eye liner and you know i like my eyeliner thick and long so now we're going into the zoeva foundation and this video is featuring the zoeva foundation and i'm in the shade 410w strong guys i really love this foundation I don't know if I say it in the end of a video, I can't remember, but it is the perfect match. Oh my gosh, I forgot there was primer time. So the primer I'm using is Milk Hydro, Hydro Grip Primer and it grips. It is the best primer I've used in a while. And my face, I feel like it can be used for anyone just because it doesn't give me that dewy look. But also my skin isn't dried out. I don't get as oily it's almost as if it's oil control by giving you a hydrated look on your skin and apparently it's made with like hemp so i really like it i'm gonna get the large size so now we go into the foundation and the foundation is 410 w by the zoeva foundation it's supposed to be a naturous naturous natural luminous skin finish and i think it gives you that i really like the way it wears it's not moving but if i'm being honest with this this new primer like i'll literally be putting on foundation and it just stays it's not been going anywhere 
also the hydra grip primer once you put the foundation down you need to get moving it does make your foundation stay in place so you don't want to linger too much and then have um like hell basically trying to blend out your foundation so i guess you would should walk in sections if you're new to foundation and then if you're if you're an og in the game just keep blending get blending right away so now i go into my huda beauty high coverage creamy concealer and i don't know what number it is but it definitely is in hazelnut uh, let me tell you in my head i even used too much concealer of this this concealer is thick this concealer has high coverage this concealer is if you want coverage if you want full filter looking smooth this concealer does it it depuffs the eyes i don't even know how it does it but it gives the allurance of the eyes being depuffed i actually enjoy using this concealer the only thing i'm not a fan of i hate the application i don't know that curved I, I, I really cannot stand the application cannot stand the application because I feel like I'm just rubbing it on my face I can't stand it like I wish it was like a tube or one of those things that had like a actual applicator rather than just straight from a tube but you know what it's fine hopefully they change it sooner or later but the coverage though the coverage though guys amazing and once that's blended out, because as you can see, that concealer is basically my skin tone. You know, very, it's more for concealing rather than highlighting. So now I'm going in with 70W from L'Oreal True Match. And that is in Golden Amber. And, you know, you can tell that that is not only a few shades lighter than my skin, <laughs> but quite a few shades lighter than my skin. Like, and this is what I use to highlight. And i love the highlight that it gives because it this one is pretty light i'm not gonna let it dry down or anything like that i'm literally i put it on and blend it out immediately because we're not trying to have that whitey cast on our skin yeah so yeah i just go ahead and blend out my highlighter Then we go into the Lara Mercier Translucent Setting Powder in Medium Deep. I genuinely have not had time or any real interest anymore to really buy the Honey Setting Powder. Which and I think I will buy it but at this moment I'm just like yeah, I'll purchase it soon. I'm not fussed anymore. Now we're going into the Sleep Dark Deep Contour Palette. And we're using a darkest shade and i'm literally using that blender to put that on first of all guys let's talk about this blender this blender is the definition of so soft it is the best blender that i have ever used and this is also good Miller's brand this is also her brand she i don't know what she used what is i don't know what sponge it is what technology it is but let me tell you how this sponge is the best sponge I've ever used ever 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 used like it's actually amazing and it does everything the only thing I don't do is apply my foundation with it but that's just because I prefer to apply my foundation with a brush so now we're going into the sleek um translucent powder it's in chocolate and this is what I set my contours with and I've been setting my contour with this since like 2016 also sometimes i don't even apply a cream contour and i would literally contour with just that powder alone because it does give off pigment like i really would like to know what i'm listening to i'm i'm jamming <laughs> guys i hope you guys are enjoying having a look at my hair bonnet that would also my friend's company she would also be listed in the description box to purchase these are 10 pounds if you're in the uk 
£10 and I think free delivery, you know. I can't remember, but I think it's £10 and free delivery. Now we go and we use our Fenty Beauty Mocha Mommy. And this is our bronzer. And I love me some Mocha Mommy. And I love Mocha Mommy simply because it's red. Like an actual bronzer that warms up the face not just makes that not makes it look like mud but warms up the face my favorite bronzer to date to date now i go with black opal i think that is in that's a finishing powder i actually don't know what color it is in cannot remember and then i just brush that all over the face to make everything look seamless now we go into the blush let me tell you about this blush this blush is so smooth so soft so pigmented so easily blendable and it's called goodie so this is also a blush from the good Mela line love 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 it now we're gonna go back into criminal the highlighter from good Mela. the video is probably actually majority good Mela. <laughs> but yes this is a highlighter in criminal and we're just look at that reflective literally blinding your haters and then obviously if it becomes too reflective and it's too much on your skin you can always go and blend it out which is what i did now you can just see me i was cleaning my my jewelry i put on my lashes my lashes are from like one random ebay seller so <laughs> i just buy these five in a pack now we're gonna go into the blue and that blue was playground and we're literally gonna line our bottom lids no that's not a lid or bottom eye line <laughs> and we're gonna just line there down there it looks like a very well it's like a teeny color on the back of the fact that i do have on some eye black eyeliner and now we go into the morphe um a lip gloss and i do do not remember the name of this lip gloss but what i will do i will have it listed in the description box everything that i use will be in the description box and i'll just list it in the description box so that you can see what it is now i am going to flat iron my hair i set my flat iron on 220 degrees celsius now i know it kind of came out kind of good but i do go in and flat iron it a bit and just ensure that the bumps are there but yeah this is a week that i revived <laughs> i've had it for at least two or three years and i don't i rarely ever wear straight hair but so guys, this is the finished yeah. look um at first i was just like whoa i don't know if i like it because i am not accustomed to putting so much color on my lids i'm very much of an earthy type girl like deep purples mauves gold brown but you know i am not mad at this look i am not mad and i went and i did change my earrings to just um i guess match my bright eyeshadow type thing going um yeah so i love the foundation we have been sleeping on that because I don't know much many people that use the Zoeva foundation. So yes, definitely. And the primer, it gives like, it's not tacky, but it's tacky. Like once you get your foundation down, you need to blend quickly, like quickly. But I like that. I just, I revived one of my older wigs <laughs> and this is what it looks like. But yes, girls and guys. This is the finished look, the sunset, sunset for the sunshine girl, because you know me, I'm bringing the sunshine. So yes, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you guys so much for watching, and if you're rocking with my content and rocking with this look, remember to like comment share and subscribe for more videos like this if you love to see me create any makeup look and speak about any topic just leave your suggestions in the comment section down below and i'll be definitely picking those up and remember stay beautiful inside and out